Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melody and welcome to my Simple Valley home. Welcome to Junk Stock Fall 2024. This vintage market definitely does not disappoint when it comes to having great finds. This year, they decided to do a theme called Wonderlust, which is basically us traveling to go junking. Per request, you asked me guys to come back here from the spring market and here we are. And so before we go enter in the doors, let's take a moment and enjoy this beautiful entrance. Welcome friends, let's go ahead and start junking. And I'm gonna be taking you guys through each booth and sharing you guys some of my favorite finds. Junk Stock is located in Omaha, Nebraska. I will leave their Instagram page in the description box down below. But like I said, they have a spring event, a fall event, and hopefully this year they have a Christmas one. So I'm hoping that they will have that and take you guys back to that as well. Now, what I like about the fall vintage market, you pretty much get every holiday season underneath the sun in this vintage market. So obviously this booth is full of Halloween items and I love the vintage touches that they bring and they're handmade. This next booth is one of my favorites. I always like to take you guys through here, especially during the holiday season because they have the cutest little bottle brush selection made with vintage doorknobs. So if you guys have been following me for a while, then you know whenever I go shopping, especially vintage shopping, I always have a list of things that I wanna buy and also a budget. So this year for the fall market, my list was to get more paintings. I also wanted to pick up some items for my little cabinet. And I also wanted to collect more copper pieces and actually start to look for some textiles like blankets, throws, any type of pillow covers. I also invited my mom to tag along with me to go vintage shopping and on her list she wanted to get more items for her beautiful garden. Mm -hmm. 
My next go-to booth is Terry's Antiques. Oh my goodness, guys. She always has the best selections when it comes to primitive vintage touches. And wow, the prices are amazing here. And she displays everything so beautifully, just like you would in your home. I will definitely be sharing you guys all the little goodies that I ended up picking up at her booth. I had a hard time. I wanted to buy everything in this little booth. It was very hard. But I also ended up picking up some beautiful items for my girlfriend, Ashley. There was two items that I regret not getting. One of them was this beautiful frame, this winter scene. I should have put it in my cart. I don't know why I didn't. And then the other one was this beautiful brass leaf. Guys, if you ever see items that you truly love, take them because I guarantee if I would have went back, they would have definitely been gone. What I love about junk stock is that you are going to have so many vendors from all over the United States in one place. So it's so nice and refreshing to have each and different type of style. So you will definitely get your furniture style here. You're going to get farmhouse, you're going to get primitive, mid-century modern, and of course a little bit of French country. As me and my mom were walking around, we realized that they had the same amount of dishes that they had for the spring of market. So many vintage pieces. My favorite was this green transfer ware. I've never seen a chicken one. I've seen the blue and my next go-to was definitely this beautiful piece. I just envision, guys, Christmas time, making a little arrangement on your table, something simple, and just, I wanna start collecting more glassware. I get so excited every time I see this fall booth. I love it. She has the most unique witch hats. I actually bought one last year. They are so fun and different and I just love all the dried florals. You guys are gonna love this booth. It is so fun, especially it's a little bit different than your typical Halloween decor.
This booth had some amazing furniture pieces. My favorite was at these little dresser stands. I thought they would be so perfect for a little powder room just to create that little something different and unique in your space. My next favorite piece in this booth were these amber glass dishes. I love the one with the brass acorn. It was $12. I should have taken it. It was so pretty and unique. And I want to start collecting more amber dishes to add to my fall collection. Me and mom always have to come into this booth. This booth is called Far Out Finds. We love all the mid-century pieces. They always have such unique glassware. And of course, the amber glass caught my eye. This beautiful plate was $5 and it was just stunning. It's a great size as well. My mom's favorite piece was this dried floral print. It was just so different and I thought it would be perfect to hang in your powder room. Now, one of the favorite pieces that my mom spotted was from her childhood she immediately started tearing up and I thought it was the most precious thing to see something from her childhood. It definitely brought back a memory of grandma. The matchboxes? Yeah. So you had that growing up? Yeah. Oh. Now it's here. Maybe it's yours. It just landed. <laughs> Mom found this and she immediately gasped because she's like, I had this when I was growing up. Oh. Moving to the next booth over, I spotted these cutting boards. I actually ended up picking up one I will share with you guys in my haul. I just love the patina. They were stunning. The next theme that was a big deal this year at the vintage market was Crocs and also primitive little shelves, little stools. But as we were shopping, we couldn't help but notice these giant corbels. They definitely caught our eye. What would you guys use them? We were thinking they would be really beautiful in an entryway. That black cat was so sweet. All animals welcome here at Junk Stock, but I wanted to do a little sneak peek of one of my finds. Yes, guys, I picked up this painting. It's so pretty. I can't wait to share with you guys how big and massive it is in my haul, but let's go ahead and stop over to this next booth. 
I cannot say for words of vintage photos. They are so pretty, but they also break my heart. I'm not gonna lie of all these lost loved ones, how they ended up here. I have, I think the reason why it touches me so much is because I have so many family photos in my household that are carried through each generation of our families. So if I were to ever display these in my home, I would definitely make sure that they are well loved and taken care of. Leave a comment down below if you guys have family photos that have been passed down generation to generation, how you guys have them displayed. I would love to hear how you guys have those photos in your home. Coming to the vintage market definitely gives me so much inspiration on displaying vignettes in my home and this little section definitely was layered to the top and I loved it. Each little nook and cranny had such a beautiful item. The one thing that also stood out in the vintage market were forest animals and these little owls definitely were so cute. I'm still looking for a secretary desk for my office to do more editing and this one definitely spotted my eye. The problem is the price was a little bit much, but the patina on this was perfect. I love that it was untouched and it just was that true vintage secretary style.
Moving to the next booth, this was me and my mom's favorite booth in this little store. We absolutely love all the furniture and all the little knickknacks, especially all the little birds. There was so many to choose from, but my favorite of all was the little black and white cutie bird. He was super precious. So when you go shopping at Junk Stock, besides going through all the booths, you definitely want to go in the back where the barns are. Those are where the fun displays are usually happening, and I love coming back here. This booth is definitely one of my go-to spots. I love all the vintage touches that she brings, especially with unique garden items and also true vintage furniture. Some really cool pieces. This is 68. It reminds me of like something that you would put a Christmas tree in. And then this beautiful urn is 50. That is pretty. 28. Heading to the next barn over, we always like to stop in here because they are definitely going to have true antiques in this space. USA, McCoy's, sometimes Rose, it just all depends on the pick of the litter as far as vintage dishes. And this year we spotted a lot of USA dishes and McCoy's and it was definitely good finds. Now finally, the last booth, or should I say barn, of the vintage market. This is always safe for last because they always have the best garden art and vintage dishes. Mid-century modern pieces, some silver, some vintage artwork. It's just so much in this little barn. Definitely good finds. Mother load of silver. Oh my gosh, guys, I have to really pick and choose. But we're eyeing this piece here. Just 
I can see greenery, Christmas pine time. cones, Christmas time. We even love this beautiful tray. Mom, can you show that there's feet? Oh my goodness. $29. Look at the feet. Guys, look at the feet. Let's see here. Oh my gosh. So pretty. You didn't get a tray that had feet though? Yeah, I did. Oh my goodness. Thank you guys so much for stopping by on my channel and going shopping with me and my mom at the fall vintage junk stock market. It was definitely a success. Me and her had the best time. Let me know, leave a comment down below on which item was your favorite and booth. I can't wait to share my haul with you guys. It definitely was a good one. So stay tuned for that video. Hit that subscribe button so you guys get that bell notification for that video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye friends.